Hello and welcome to the CCNV routing and switching course offered by Simply Learn. The previous lesson focused on troubleshooting NAT and DHCP. In this lesson, we will focus on troubleshooting voice and video. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss the characteristics of multicast, explain the IGMP, describe the types of PIM. Let us start our discussion with an understanding of multicast. Multicast is used extensively for video and telepresence. For example, if a training course is streamed, the users who sign up for the course can join the multicast group and receive the training course. The multicast address range is 224.0.0.0 through 239.255.255.255. The multicast address receives a stream of packets that constitute the multicast communication. Routers provide the stream to each subnet device, called a host, that has joined the multicast group. Routers and hosts need a way to communicate with each other. For example, a host may leave the multicast group. The router needs to know this in order to avoid wasting bandwidth. One such protocol is the Internet Group Management Protocol. In the next slide, we will look into IGMP. Hosts join a multicast group by sending an IGMP join message to their routers. Depending upon the version, IGMP messages are sent to either the all host address 224.0.0.1 or the all routers address 224.0.0.2. These messages discover the routers and hosts involved in the multicast stream. Switches are also involved in IGMP. A switch uses IGMP snooping to listen for messages passing between IGMP routers and their hosts. In this way, it determines which of its interfaces pass multicast traffic. In the next slide, we will discuss how IGMP information is used in protocol-independent multicast. <laughs> 